Mm. Que no, que salimos de nuestra tija mayor. Hi, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. And you? Excellent, Sally. Welcome to the class, Sally. So, Sally, please tell me, how was your day today? Uh, it was fine. Fine, very good. How was it? Stressing, relaxing, boring? Uh, it was okay. <laughs> It was okay. Very good, Casali. Good, Casali. Casali, and tell me, Casali, uh, what do you have for breakfast today? Uh, I ate a piece of bread and some coffee. Excellent. Very good. Very good. Very good. Super light. And what about for lunch? Uh, I ate um, a rachera and beans. Okay, very good, 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 good. Excellent, Sally. Good, Sally, and tell me, what was the weather like today in your area? It was sunny. Sunny, okay, very good, okay, so in the rain. Okay, Sally, so let's, let's start with an activity. I'm going to share one quizzes activity that I prepared for you. So, that is a link, okay, for the quizzes, mm -hmm. and I'm going to share my screen, okay? Okay. okay. Wait, wait a minute, okay, that is there, okay. Okay, once you join, here I will see your, your avatar. The quizzes is about present perfect simple and present perfect continuous, okay? Okay. Very good, I'm going to start it, very good.
Very good. Something great. Great. So let's see. Very good. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. So let's see the questions. Okay. For example. Okay. Okay. Let's see question three. It says, I to look for information on the Soviet since last Friday. Ah, here can say, I have been looking. Oh, it changed, okay. I have been looking, okay. I have been looking for information on the Soviet since last Friday. Para que diga, desde el viernes pasado. He estado buscando información. Okay, sorry. This one. You to work as a computer programmer for more than 15 years. Okay, here yeah, it's more for the period of time, which says for more than 15 years. So we have to use you have been working. Okay, you have been working. Okay. Okay, this is correct. Okay. This is in Avalon. Yeah, it says. Ah. The verb is incorrect. Has your wife has your wife has your wife ever flown? Has your wife ever flown? Is fly, flu, flown. Fly, the past flu, and the past possible flown. Fly, flu, flown. Okay. okay. This one. Her jet. Oh, this one is good. Okay, good. How long have you your mobile phone? Ah, I don't know. How long have you had? Yes, why can I say it? Because if you say, how long have you been having? It, it sounds strange. Grammatically, it's correct. But it sounds strange to native speakers. Native speakers will usually say, how long have you had the mobile phone? So we usually, again, you can say, how long have you had, um, I don't know, have you had your connection on, 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 on tickets? How long have you had your car? Okay, how long has she, has she had her house? Okay, rather than being having, being having sounds strange to them, okay? Okay. Very good. When it's good, okay. When it's good, it's when it's good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Very good, it's good. This one says, we discussed this matter for hours on end. We haven't still reached a decision. Uh, here, can say, here is easy. Here you have the present perfect simple. We haven't still reached a discussion. So that's number one. Number two. It says for hours on end. Okay, so the four hours on end is for horas sin terminar. Okay. So uh, okay. Is, yes. We have been discussing this matter for hours on, on end. Very good. It's good. It's good. Very good. This one is Ali. It says we know each other since 1989. Ah, this one We have known. We have known each other since 1999. Today, Casali, I'm going to show you some verbs that are called state theories. I, I think I have seen this topic with you before, but it doesn't matter, okay? I will show it to you again. There are some specific verbs in English that never, that never combine with ing. One of mm -hmm. them is no. We usually, we never say, for example, I am knowing, rather we say, I know. Uh, we have known each other rather than we have been knowing, okay? Why? Because this verb belongs to that category of this co category called state verb. But, but today I will show you that, okay? Okay. Okay, okay so le let, me, let me get the list for those state, state verbs, okay? So remember, they are called state verbs. Why? Because it means that they are never used in the progressive or in the gerund or in the ing form. For example, look at this. Wait a minute. Okay. There it goes, okay. Okay, I'm going to paste them on the board and I'm going to share the board with you. Wait a minute, okay. 
Okay. Okay, it's seven. Copy link bold. Okay, I need to put it on WhatsApp. Okay, good. Okay, new Okay, these are the list. Okay, this is stative verbs right? there are many more but here you will find in this list you will find the, the most common or the most um used for um uh, state verbs remember today is august 6 to 24 and this is the category we say for example believe belong contain consist depend know like possess prefer and understand for example believe I believe that the earth is round. We never say, I am believing, okay? Belong, this book belongs to me. We never say, uh, this book is belonging to me. Okay? Contain, the book contains several items. Consist, the cake consists of flour, sugar, and eggs. Depend, my success depends on your support. Personally, no, I know. I know the answer to the question. Very good, like? I like to read books in my free time. Very good. Possess. The company possess valuable intellectual property. Prefer? I prefer tea over coffee. Very good. Understand. I understand the concept you are trying to explain. Exactly, Casali. Very good. Okay, Casali. So, yes, Casali, we were speaking about movies, okay, and we define this activity. It says make a work web about a movie. Use the words in bold, then describe it to partner. For example, movie, and you have to write uh, maybe one of your famous or your favorite movies you like. And you say, it's about, okay, it is a, it's a comedy, it's a war movie, okay, it's a, it's a um, cartoon movie. It's set in Paris, in Italy, in Mexico. It takes place in a small town, in the forest, okay, in a village, in a cafe, okay. Here you have to say the, the a famous actor or a famous actress, for example, I don't know, Richard Gere is in it, okay? He okay. plays the role as a, or he plays as a manager, he plays the role as a, as a school principal. And here you comment, I like it, I love it, okay? Oh, I guess that's very good, okay? Good. Okay. <clears throat>
Ah, I think I know that movie, Casali. Even the wind is a, is, is a phrase. Yes. It, it's Mexican, no, Casali? Mm, yes. Very good. Yes, it's, it's a very good movie, huh? Right. However, I, I just saw the, the latest version. It has two versions. One which is very old. I don't remember from what year. Uh, and the latest version. I, I really enjoyed the, I mean, the original movie, the, the, the old version. Good, yes. good option, good option, very good, good, good option, good option. Let's, let's do a change here. It's a haunted year school. It is about a haunted year school. And in the way that you wrote it, it's correct, Sally. It was good, but it's more like um, more English, more um, American, this style. It is about a haunted year school. Very good. Okay. good. However, you, the, the other way you had written, it, it was grammatical, it was not correct. Okay. Good. Very good. What is the word for uh, internado? Ah, very good, yes. Intern, internship. There was an internship, internship, internship. Okay, thank yes. you.
Very good. Very good. What do you see in the center of the web? <laughs> Spider web? It, it's like a, it is amazing, frightening, shocking, relaxing. You know? Excellent, it's frightening, very good. All right, so will you please read from the center, moving. Uh, movie, even is a fright. Good, it's about? Uh, it's about a haunted girl school. Okay, it's? It's frightening. Okay, it's a? It's a horror movie. It's set in? It's set in Mexico. Okay, it takes place? It takes place place in an internship very good marga lopez marga lopez is in it uh, she, she plays she plays the principal role and i i really like this movie very good Cassidy. yeah Cassidy. here i i wrote the, the plot very very shortly okay you please wait for me because i hasta el viento Hasta el viento tiene miedo. Esa 1968 Mexican horror film directed by Carlos Enrique Tabuada. The film follows a group of students who become stranded at a remote country house where they begin experiencing supernatural phenomena. Good. The plot centers around a vengeful. Very good. Female ghost who haunts the house and targets the students. The students must work together to uncover the ghost backstory and find a way to escape the haunted location. Good. Well, I can provide a detailed plot summary to avoid producing copyrighted material. The film is considered a classic of Mexican horror cinema known for its atmospheric, cinematographic, and eerie supernatural elements. What is eerie, Casale? What do you think is eerie supernatural elements? Eerie. I don't know. Eerie, Casale. You want to write there? Eerie. Espeluznante. Que da mucho miedo, okay? Espeluznante. Que provoca mucho miedo, mucho terror. Eerie. Okay. What is Casali stranded? Stranded. Who become stranded at? Stranded at. What is that, Casali? Stranded at. I don't know. Stranded at. Stranded at. Atrapadas en. Atrapadas uh, okay. en. O atrapados en. Okay. 
Yes. Mm, ¿Qué más sería? Vengeful. Vengeful. Eh, vengativa. Vengativo, vengativa, me gusta. Mm, no acuerdo. Y acá sale. Plot. Plot. Eh, el. Yes. Eh, punto de la historia o. La trama. La ah, trama. Okay. A detail plot. <coughs> Una trama detallada. Very good. Ok. Ok. Very good. Excelente, Casari. Very good. Good. Well done. Well done. Ok. Ahora, Casari. Let's continue here. Que esta lista es building languages. Es listen. What do Carl and Yolín decide to do? Why? Para que se conversación. Ok. So, let's listen to that. Ok. Wait a minute. Very good. Wait. A ok. Let's go there. This one. Page 101. Two, building language. A, listen. What do Carl and Jolene decide to do? Why? Practice the conversation. Sorry I'm late. Have you been waiting long? No, just a few minutes. So, which movie do you want to see? I've heard good things about Starship. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I've already seen it. It was okay. Oh, well, there's Funny Guy. It's been playing for ages, and I still haven't seen it. Actually, I saw it when it first came out. Okay. Well, how about Joker? I haven't seen that yet either. I've seen it, but I'll go again. It was hilarious. At the end, the guy falls into a... Hey, don't spoil it for me. Let's just go see it. Excellent, okay. I am a car, you are joining, okay? Sorry, I'm late. Have you been waiting long? No, just a few minutes. So, which movie do you want to see? I've heard good things about the Starship. Have you seen it yet? Yeah, I have already seen it. It was okay. Oh, well, there is a funny guy. It's been playing for ages, and I still haven't seen it. Actually, I saw it when it first came out. Okay, well, what about Joker? I haven't seen that yet either. I've seen it, but I'll go again. It was hilarious. At the end, the guy falls into a... Okay. Hey, don't spoil it for me. Let's just go see it. Okay. Okay, so here we are going to learn how to use some words. Okay. For example, have you seen it yet, Castelli? How, how, how do you say this in Spanish, Castelli? Have you seen it yet? ¿Ya la viste? Ya la viste. Very good. This one, sorry. I have already... Eh, ya la vi. Ya la vi. Very good. Digo, Costani. I still haven't seen it. I still haven't seen it. Eh, Todavía no la veo. Todavía no la veo. Very good, Costani. Ok. Here, Costani says, write the name of a movie you've seen in a questions. Answer the correct words in this response. Then, work with a partner. Take turns asking your questions and giving true answers. For example, I will read. I recently saw... I don't know, okay, you have to write uh, uh, the name of a movie. Have you seen it? You know, I already still yet haven't seen that movie. Actually, I haven't seen that movie already still yet either. Yeah, I have, I have already still yet seen it. Okay, so if you please write there any other movie you have seen presently, please. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Very good.
Very good. Very good. Very good. Good. No worry, I, I will move it. Don't worry, okay, good. Okay, that's good. Good. All right, I said, I started and says, I recently saw praying. Have you seen it? I don't know why I still haven't seen that movie. Actually, I haven't seen that movie yet either. Yeah, I've already seen it. Very good. Okay, here, Catalina, I wrote this for you, okay? How to use already, still, and yet, they are connectors. They are usually practice, or they usually use with present perfect. For example, already. Already is used to indicate that something has happened sooner than expected or earlier than anticipated. It's often used to emphasize the completion of an action before a particular time, for example. I have already finished my homework for the day. The homework was completed earlier than expected. And we say, yeah, he terminado mi tarea del día. Okay. Because I please still, still. Still is used to indicate that an action or condition is continued even at the present moment. It is used to emphasize the ongoing nature of an action or a state example i have still been working on the same project for the past three months the project is ongoing very good es aún aún he estado trabajando en el proyecto por los últimos tres meses or here que say look at this is affirmative i have still been okay look at the position is between half and the main verb, okay? I have still been. Okay. Or, or like here in the book, the book explains that is negative. For example, no, I still haven't seen. Look at the position of still when it's a negative sentence. It's after, sorry, before, before the auxiliary verb. When okay. it's negative. When it's affirmative, remember, is after, después, after the auxiliary verb, okay? Okay. okay, yet, yet is used to indicate that an action or event has not occurred by the present time, but it is expected to happen. It is often used to express that the idea of something that is not complete or finished. For example, I haven't, I haven't finished my report yet. The report is not completed, but it is expected to be finished. Okay, so here I got some more examples. For example, she has already learned how to play the piano. The learning process is complete. I will number two. We have still been waiting for the boss for over an hour. The waiting is ongoing. They haven't booked the vacation ticket yet. The booking has not been done, but is expected to happen. Because number four, I have. I have already submitted my application for the job. The application process is complete. Very good. She has still been studying for the final exam. The study, the studying is ongoing. Very good. I have not decided on my travel plans yet. The decision has not been made, but is expected to be made. Exactly, Very good. Okay, so here, this practice, he says, 
Complete the conversations, okay, add already, still, or yet, okay? Then part with a partner. For example, there is a new comedy out. Have you seen it? Oh, the Ben Stiller movie? Yeah, I have seen it. It was hilarious. Have you seen it? No, I haven't. Not. I like to talk. Have you seen the latest James Bond movie? No, I haven't had a chance. Actually, I haven't seen the last movie. So do you want to go see a movie later? I don't know. I haven't seen most of the movies that are out now. Really? I haven't seen any of them. Okay, so super easy. Please complete it using already, still, and yet, okay? Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good, so let's see, very good. Okay, so not yet, not yet, very good, I still haven't put, very good, sorry. Okay, I'm in letter A, you're letter B, it says, there's a new comedy out, have you seen it? Already, look at this, okay. yeah, in question, look at this, in questions, it says, Remember the example, okay? This one. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. Have uh, you seen it yet? No. Have you seen it yet? Very good. Remember, yet is for 
questions, okay? And also for negative, okay? Okay. Yes, very good, okay? Oh, it oh, the bestseller movie. Yeah, I've already seen it. It was hilarious. Have you seen it yet? Very good. No, I haven't, not yet. I like to talk. Have you seen the latest Jimbo's movie yet? Uh, no, I haven't had a chance yet. Actually, I still haven't seen the last one. Very good. So do you want to go see a movie a movie later? I don't know. I've already seen most of the movies that are out now. Really? I still haven't seen any of them. Sorry. So let's go here can say to extra practice. It says already still and yet with present perfect. It says write the title of a TV show, two movies, a book, a singer, and a place in the conversations. Then complete the conversations with already, yet, or still. For example, as you know, there is a new show on TV. Okay, here we have the name. Okay, I haven't seen it. Have you? No, I have heard about it, but I haven't seen it. Okay, either. It looks good. You know the new movie? Here we write the movie name. Have you seen it? Yes, I have seen it. It was good, but I haven't seen. Okay. I like to see that too. Actually, there are a few movies that I want to see. Have you read any good books recently? I just read, okay, I hear a book, the, a book name, okay? Have you read it? No, I haven't read it, okay? I've been busy. I haven't read the book assignment for my English class. Have you heard, I hear we have a, a, a singer, okay? new song uh, and the name of, of the song no i haven't downloaded it i haven't heard the other songs on the album either there are a lot of great places to visit in the city but they never been to i hear a place okay have you no i haven't been there i haven't been to some of the museums or art galleries either all right so please complete please very good okay <clears throat> good Very good.
ايوه Okay. Wait a Very good. Let's see. Very good. Let me share the screen. Good. Very good. Okay. I think it's good. Okay. Okay. I'm in a letter A. You're another B. It says, you know, there is a new show on TV, Game of Thrones. I haven't seen it yet. Have you? No, I heard about it, but I haven't seen it yet either. It looks good. Good. Do you know that new movie, Deadpool and Wolverine? Have you seen it yet? Yes, I already seen it. It was good, but I still haven't seen Inside Out too. I like to see that too. Actually, there are a few movies that I still want to see. Good. Have you read any good book recently? I just read it. Mm, no, I haven't read it yet. Okay. I've been busy. I still? I still haven't read the book assignment for my English class. Because I, 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 I am assuming that it is the name of the book. And yes. uh, obviously the, the book from which the movie was based. Yes. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, have you heard Beyond's new song, Texas Hold'em? No, I haven't downloaded it yet. I still haven't heard the other songs on the album either. Very good. There are a lot of great places to visit in the city, but I've never seen, I've never been to Coyotes Park. Have you? No, I haven't been there yet. I still haven't been 
to some of the museums or art galleries either. Excellent, excellent. Very good, Casalie. So I think that now for you, Casalie, it's easy to use already still and yet. Good, Casalie. Casalie, before we go, Casalie, please tell me, Casalie, what are you going to do after class, Casalie? Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe uh, study a little. Study a little, okay. Okay, and, and later, are you planning to, I don't know, to watch a movie, to read a book, to relax, I don't know? Mm, just relax. Very good, Casali. Casali, what are you planning to have for dinner tonight? Mm, I don't know yet. But may, maybe any any something that you would like to eat? Maybe a scrambled eggs and coffee. Delicious. Very good, Casali. Good, Casali. Okay. Okay, Casali. Thank you for being here today, Casali. See you tomorrow in class. Thank you very much, Casali. Thank you. Take care, Casali. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank you, Casali. Thank you.